Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library. It's Children's Book Week, so this is my last costume of uh, the week. And if you don't know this book, this is uh, Creepy Carrots. Uh, no, not Creepy Carrots. These are Creepy Carrots. Uh, a Creepy Pair of Underwear by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Peter Brown. Uh, I just happen to be in this, but today I am going to uh, book talk some, um, some books for uh, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So these are the books. I have two chapter books and two middle grade chapter books and two um, graphic novels. So super fun. Um, so this is Swordbird and this is by Nancy E. Fan and this is her. She's just a kid and she wrote two books. Um, and her book is about um, birds and the bird um, like hierarchy and like bird community and bird culture. Uh, so blue jays and cardinals of Stone Run Forest have turned against each other. And according to legend, only Swordbird, the son of the great spirit, has the power to conquer evil and restore peace to the land. But is it a myth? And she wrote this when she was 12 years old after she had uh, a dream and she moved from China to the United States. So uh, really, really cool. You're never too young to write your, um, your dream book and you never know. Uh, and then this one by Grace Lynn, this is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and she has two others in this series, and these are so imaginative and so wonderful. They take um, Asian folk and fairy tales and turn, and she turns them all into a story. She weaves all of the, like a whole bunch of the fairy tales and folk tales and legends together to create an incredible, imaginative story. Usually with some dragons, lots of magic. It's just fabulous. I loved this one and I love uh, the others in that series. And then, we have uh, City of Dragons, which I actually just, uh, I just finished this. This was a graphic novel. Love the illustrations a lot. They are about uh, this girl who uh, discovers that, um, that she has a dragon. Uh, and it's a water dragon and uh, other dragons have awakened as well and uh, this group of kids are um, are keeping the dragon safe but they're also trying to get um, get the dragon um, kind of back to where it should be and there there are evil dragons and good dragons and yeah, there's a lot of Asian folklore around dragons and stuff in this. And this is a great graphic novel. If you like graphic novels a lot, if you like dragons, and you want a cool story, this is a great group of characters and a fun story. And the last one is Tide Song. This is another graphic novel. This is by Wendy Wu. And um, this is all about um, Sophie, who is a young witch, and she's under, uh, under pressure to attend a top magic school. And yeah, there's just a lot going on. They remind me, the illustrations remind me a little of anime. So they, they have some anime um, qualities to them. And it's just a great 
story. So check these out and celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month during the month of May. And you got a little bit longer to celebrate uh, Children's Book Week. And these, of course, are all children's books. So happy reading. Happy weekend. Check out these stories. Miss Amy, thanks.